Hello and welcome to the Edges of Earth. My name is Brock. Today is an interesting day. I'm in a place called Mandapam, and it's basically in like the, I don't know what you call it, the Cape area maybe, that is in between India and Sri Lanka. So there's a tourist area, if I go further south, called Rameswaram, I believe is how they call it. And it's a tourist area. Very few foreigners go there. But this area here, in my mind, seems to be cool as well because very few tourists both local or international would come here. So therefore, I decided to come here instead, walk around. There's obviously the beach on both sides. I mean, this is very, very narrow on both sides of me right now. So I just hopped off the train and uh, yeah, I have absolutely nothing planned other than let's walk. So apparently this is the entrance exit. People just kind of push this down to get through the wall. Um, wasn't really much of a, of a bus or train stop either. It was just kind of like, out in the middle of a field. Anyway, I think the road, I'm going to follow this road, walk for maybe one kilometer, and I'll be at the scene. Like this? <laughs> it's movie. So we've been talking for about 10 minutes using Google Translate. They think it's a photo. <laughs> it's video, say hello. <laughs> so basically, I got to that sign and it says, I translated with my phone and it says that you cannot go in. For whatever reason, I got the basics of the translation. Um, anyway, I started walking along this path. I was surrounded by children who wanted to ask me a hundred questions, and then I had to do a lot of translation. And then this man, Raul, yeah? yeah. He yeah. randomly came up to me and started speaking perfect English. I think his English is better than mine. And uh, we talked for 45 minutes, I think. We'd just been standing there in the sun for 45 minutes, chatting about everything. And uh, so now it's like one o'clock, and he invited me to his house to have chicken curry, yeah? Yeah, of course. Amazing. So we're going to have some chicken curry in the area. And your mother is the chef, yeah? Yeah, of course. Chef mom. Yeah, my mom is chef. Mom is always the chef of the house. Yeah. She's the king. Is your mother an amazing chef? Yeah, of yeah. course, ma'am. Wow, uh, I'm excited. Yeah. You know, every mom's oh. a... Uh, yeah, every mom has... The best <laughs> chef. Yeah. Every, every mom is the best mom and the best chef. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> it's okay? It's okay, it's okay. Wow. Amazing. Not a big house, man. <laughs> Today morning only, man. Uh, goat broke the uh, this thing door. Oh, really? So, yeah. Uh, our home security. Does your cat have a name? Yeah, it's a uh, white lady. White lady. Yeah, in Tamil they say Vellai Amma. Okay. In English, it's name White Lady. White Lady. <laughs> <laughs> So basically when we are outside in front of the houses, I've seen this in southern India where people like have these beautiful patterns in front of their house or entrance ways to businesses. What is it? This uh, they call Rangoli. In Tamil they call Kolam. When the festival season comes, they used to put uh, this thing. That's in our mm, culture. Okay. It's like a kind of uh, art. This month it's a celebration month for uh, uh, special for Krishna mm -hmm. and some God. Like, have you guys do for the Christmas? Mm -hmm. You do decor in the top one, yeah. but we do decor in house also in the floor. They made of a rice flour, right? Yeah. So they do this art to feed some ants. The ant used to eat uh, rice, right? Okay, yeah. So to feed them, they do this art. So it's kind of like a, a holiday decoration, but instead of decorating the house, you decorate the ground, yeah? yeah and in addition, it's very colorful, and it also is rice flour with color, so therefore it also feeds the ants as well, yeah? Yes, of course. That's amazing. So the meal came, and what do we have? It looks like we have rice. Yes, chicken curry omelette. Chicken curry and an omelette. Awesome. And you said this is going to be spicy, yeah? Yeah, of And course. so your mother's bringing curd. Yeah, because, like yogurt because curd. of you, man. Yogurt oh my, cheese. Just because of me. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we use hands. Do you want spoon? Oh, no, no, this is good. Every day I eat with my hands. Yeah, uh, that is really healthy, man. So basically, you just mix this with your hands, like yeah, this, yes, yeah, yes. and then shove it in your mouth, something yeah. like that. Like this, how you uh, mix the pasta with the sauce, same like pasta. Yeah, how's, how's my mixing skills? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not very good. Alright, let's try it. <laughs> Absolutely spicy, huh? 
So instantly, oh wow, there it is. Yeah, man. It's like a six second, it's like a six, oh, oh. Huh, it's like a six second delay, oh, and then it really God. kicks in. <laughs> but the initial flavor is really good. The spices are so good. I'm gonna try a piece of chicken. Mm. Yeah, but is this spicy? I'm not gonna lie. So I'm on my way to the train where I started yeah. at like 11 o'clock when I arrived. Yeah. It is now six o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> this whole time I spent in your house eating lunch yeah. and drinking tea and we talked for yeah. almost six hours of talking and communicating. So yeah. that was a interesting day. So basically yeah, you and I, I you and I have a really a fun, man, fun yeah. time. Yeah, it was thank good. you so much. So basically I explored absolutely nowhere in this area, so that gives me an excuse to return. So the next time I come, maybe he'll help me explore the area. Yeah, if he's here, great. If not, then I guess I have to roam around myself. But yeah, I didn't even see the beach today, other than from the train when I was on my way here. So uh, I think uh, we dragged the whole time uh, in our house. Uh, you trapped into inside our house. Welcome to the future. It is now Saturday of the next week and I'm currently on a train going to Rameshwaram. So basically it's a tourist area, a really cool area, geographically speaking, where India comes to a tip and meets Sri Lanka. I'm going to go today to the very last point, uh, the very furthest end point that I can go by foot and by bus and by train. Um, and show you what it's like to be there. So I met up with Raul again. So <laughs> basically he met me on the train. I took the train here, he got on, and we still have another hour to go. We are on the train now crossing the ocean. Over here is the, the Bay of Bengal. And over here, what is this one? I don't even know how to say this word. Laka Dive Sea? Yeah, Laka Dive Sea. The Laka Dive Sea. You haven't been to this area in like how many years? Yes, How 17. Many? Yes, 17 I think years. So, yes, so this will be a fun experience for you as well. Yes, I have a long time. Awesome. Yeah. Why are we going so incredibly slow? Like, I can walk faster than this. It's too windy. Yeah. Main thing. And the bridge is not that much stable. So if the train goes fast in over this uh, track, I think it will be faster. <laughs> we'll tip over and die. So, can you swim? No. Okay, oh, hope we can. Awesome, so we just made it off the train and uh, you know where to go? Yeah, of course. Are you sure? Oops. It's been like 15 years. All right, follow the people. So basically we're going to walk to a bus. The bus will then take us to the furthest point that we're looking for um, and, and go to that area. So, <laughs> gangster sign? Yeah, yeah. Yo, yo. <laughs> Do you still know where we're going? No, no, I know. I you know? know? Yeah, we're just, All right. I'm All right. just searching for the train, for all right. the next train. My, yeah, for I'm the putting return. all my trust in you. you. Don't worry about me. Okay, you just, you can go on. Believe me, these two are the edge, the final one, yeah. the Danish Cody. These and these are in the same places, and this one. And this is inside the temple. And this one is a floating stone, uh, from the Hanuman temple. Okay. Floating stone. It's in the sea. You can see. They brought one of the stone and they brought here and they just keep in this uh, in that uh, temple. So we just passed a big, big temple. I don't know the age of it. There wasn't really a lot of signs out in front, but it's very, very big. It looks very old. It's interesting. But they don't allow photography. It's more than 100 or years like old. Huh? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> I'm definitely it's sure it's more than 100 years old. Built by a big kings. Yeah. Okay, it's a Pandyas and Cholas. They have been here and they were the king who were ruling the whole uh, Rameshwaram and the whole half of the Tamil Nadu. Ah. Okay, the south part of Tamil Nadu. Basically, in this temple, the special is that every people from the whole world are around the India. They used to come to take a water. It's a called a holy water. In Tamil, they say Tirtam, Agni Tirtam. Okay, that, there are certain uh, compartments of uh, wells inside the temple. These all water are nearby the ocean, but they doesn't taste any salty. They just purely they are felt good taste. And the people from India, they believe that it's a holy water which can cleanse 
their sins and sickness. So they just take and carry this water to their hometown and they kept in their houses and they worship that water. Ah, so they go in over here, yeah, yeah. they come out over here and many people have water carrying, they're carrying water with them. Wow. Yeah, many people, people, man, they used to yeah. Before, in Indian, Indians mostly, they believe that if you're going to get old, and in the world, everyone have used to go to the pilgrimage centers. Mm -hmm. So in India, Rameshwaram Temple is one of the uh, biggest pilgrimage centers. Mm -hmm. So all the people, all the old people from India, they used to come here, they do some worship, and they go back. Because it's like a ho before they go to heaven, okay, like they, they are believed, before go to heaven, they have to come and visit this kind of uh, holy place so that they will be happily and straight away can be touch with God, mm. like that. Their beliefs, Indian beliefs is like that. Okay. So people go inside here to take a bath in holy water. But I don't know how much okay. it will cost, but they do uh, earlier booking for yeah. this to take bath. And sometimes they give even for the free, yeah. but not every time. They have to pay sometimes. And they go in, they take the bath in the holy water, and they come out. So are you going to go take a bath right now? No, no, no. Why I'm not? already... You're that kind clean. of man, look, already <laughs> in that kind of. Come, let's go. And this is the secondary place where the people take bath. So the people believe this is holy water as well? Yes, yes. yes. But I could totally come here and live and swim every day for months. Every day, anytime, no one will yeah. ask you, no question. Awesome. You can have fun, man. If you are a good swimmer, huh? Yeah. Otherwise, like me, you will run inside. And you're not a good swimmer? No. I'm Why don't you come here and learn? Huh? Come and learn. Ah. I don't like, uh, I don't love to swim. <laughs> I want to, I want to, I want to touch the water really quick. Yeah. See if it's nice. I'm sure it is. Oh my God. Yeah, that's good water. That's amazing. Ah, I want to go swimming. Uh, you, you, do you want to go? Not right now. Maybe after. So what is this thing? Uh, this thing is that uh, they do for their, uh, if you're like my grandfather is dead, then I want to just uh, do this thing. So let, let, the, let his soul will be in peace. You know, rest in peace. So they do this as a sacred for the Hindu. Just so as a way to remember. Yes, of course we. The deceased. We, yeah, we in India we believe that this is sacred for the Hindus. Mm. If we do this, that our youngster's soul will be in peace and straight away meet with that. Cool. While we were standing here and talking, a random man came over and took the fruit <laughs> off of this representation of death and he took it cleaned it and just started eating it and he walked away what's the next stop Danuskodi. and how do we get there the bus where's the bus it's just nearby we have to go that yeah way? we have to go the way we come from we have to go back all right i'll follow you yeah come on let's go So we made it on the bus. We have about 30 minutes to go. And I think this bus was made in like 1980. Oh my god. So we made it. This is a really, really, really cool place. And it's windy. So basically right at the tip over there, you can't see we're gonna get closer, is Sri Lanka. And actually I'll be going there very soon also, so stay tuned. And what's interesting, we keep noticing is this side over here, the water is very, very smooth and over here it's very rough. So how do you feel being back here after 15 years or 12 I'm years? I'm really surprised and I'm really happy because yeah. I'm here because of you. Man. Oh my God. <laughs> if you're not there, I have no idea to come back here yeah, yeah. to see this. So, as you've seen in the beginning of the video, the last weekend when I was here, we just randomly, completely randomly met. And then I said, I want to come back to go here. And I said, hey, come with me. So it just kind of turned out this way. Are you going to learn how to swim? Do you want me to teach you how to swim? No. You want to learn on, you want to learn on this side or this side? Which side do you want to I learn? just want to learn in the bucket. <laughs> a bucket. It's really congested through here. There's a lot of people, a lot of cars, yeah. a lot of rickshaws. We're going to get some uh, pineapple, pineapple and, and cucumber. Cucumber, good. Yeah. I want those are the two that I really like anyway. So, <laughs> good. Yeah, this is good for this weather, man. That's right. 
like if you look, there's like chili powder yeah, of course. on yeah. both. That will be a little spicy. So while I'm eating cucumbers, this is the second time someone has asked me to take a photo with them. And I think we have more coming right I behind me right now. Because to celebrate. Oh, more. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we just had a, a selfie session. Yeah. A selfie yeah. session. Selfie yeah. session. Yeah. Selfie session. Great <laughs> It's a great yeah, right here we have the celebrity. No, right I'm not a celebrity, man. Wow. You are All the guy the who is celebrity. Ah, oh, that's not a big deal. Huh? Oh, like this, yeah? Okay, come on. Can I use my camera? Okay. We're gonna do this. One, two. Three. Say cheese. Yeah. How's that? How is your cucumber and uh, it's pineapple? really juicy, man. Yeah, it's delicious. I love to have it. So good. And cucumber too. I don't taste the chili powder, so I'm starting to think that it wasn't chili powder and it was Actually, just sand from around this is just What dust. the hell? No, no! <laughs> just see! Just zoom it in, man. You can see the chili powder. I think it's not that much spicy. I don't taste it at all. So I, I, I saw that. I, think it's I the, choose it. Actually. I think it's the dirt. Yes, there's a lot of dust going in my eyes and my mouth. We're walking our way out to the, yeah, the temple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got a lot of sand on the, the pineapple. I got some sandy pineapple. That was kind of gross. So, here's the <laughs> temple. I don't really know what to do here other than to look at it. It's really red no, and yellow. It's like the kind of police boot or temple. Yeah, police outpost. Oh, this is police boot, man. It's oh. not even the temple. There we go. It looks it's a like police. A temple, that's looks right. like a temple, but it's a police post. So is this where we're going to learn how to swim, right here? Uh, I think you, not <laughs> me. Yeah. I don't love to swim. Man. Well, if you can jump through the rocks like a goat, I think you can swim pretty easy. What? No. You have pretty good goat skills. <laughs> Look at him go. But he can't swim. <laughs> This water is really, really, really clear. It makes me want to go in right now. There's so many people swimming. But I really don't feel like walking the rest of the afternoon wet. I think you love to swim, huh? Yeah, just get in. So we made it. This is basically the very end. Over here. When I was looking on Google Maps, I thought that I would reach here and then there'd be like a trail that I could keep walking a little bit to go this way. No. So basically this is the end. So I want to... Oh, this might be this one. I'm trying to find a spot for an Instagram photo. So this actually might work. If you stand here and I stand there, or maybe over here. Yes, yeah, swim out there. What? Just I can go walk, man. I, can uh, just I think it might walk. be a little bit too deep in the beginning. I will just hop on you. Man. I'm more scared of like sharks and jellyfish. No, nothing else is here, man. Yeah, you you see? don't know. Only we are there. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we found like a beach area here. So I'm going to check down there. I might be able to get a photo. But you have to like jump over the fence because all this dust, all these walls are in your way. And basically you have to be like a monkey. Yeah. Rule number one. Do you know rule number one? Well, yeah. What's that? Rule number one is don't die. I don't die. Yeah, okay. Well, that's my rule. Just don't die. Rule number one. You know what rule number two is? Nah. Follow rule number one. <laughs> yeah. Can you do that? Can you jump? Don't die. I can. I don't want to catch this on camera when you face plan. You think I'm a Peter Parker? <laughs> Peter Parker? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> we found like a little peninsula we're going to yeah, go walk Yeah, along. yeah, it's kind of peninsula. Oh shit. We're going inside people's photo. Hi Ben. We have one. Are you uh, going to drown here? It's going to go above your knees. Yeah, that's not a big deal. Not a big deal? Yeah. Okay, let's check it out. Oh wow, yeah, it goes really deep. Hold on. Just kidding. It goes deeper than I thought. I'm gonna it's going up to people's family jewels. I'm gonna get it. Okay, I'll film you. So I guess just as we were going out there, they said we can't go out there because some crazy government official says, no, 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 it's so dangerous. The water, the water goes up to like here, and so you might die. You have to ask Mr. Modi if yes, you can go swimming in your own, own ocean. I need to swim in the ocean. Just give me a permission. So it's weird is you can, you can go here, but you can't go there. Go underwater. All the way. I'm just getting <laughs> Your phone is getting wet. <laughs> okay, waterproof, huh? Waterproof. Okay, good. Very good. Mission Impossible. Yeah. Dun, 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 Mission Impossible. Dun, 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 dun. You're the Indian Tom Cruise, yeah? No, I can't do that much. <laughs> do you feel confident you could swim to Sri Lanka now? You have skills? No. No? Anyway, I can't reach Sri Lanka. Because they will shoot you. <laughs> yeah. Only my body. That'll be the Red Sea and not the the other sea. Yeah, I think I can go to US man by swimming. Yeah. Yeah. So up this way, about three kilometers, there was a small village. 
kind of, full of houses made out of bamboo and sticks. And basically, we think we want to go there and maybe have lunch. There was a couple small restaurants, so maybe, maybe we can go there somehow. We may have to walk, I'm not sure. So these buses always have trouble turning around. <laughs> Hello. is a bit of a challenge we have to turn around <laughs> it's kind of difficult we just got off the bus we went back to the mainland maybe three kilometers or so and we got off the bus and um, yeah we're walking past all of these shops there's like tons of shops made out of uh, bamboo and uh, treetops it's really cool interesting they have a lot of things for sale anything from necklaces and and, and lots of seashells everything is made out of seashells Basically, our goal is to find something to eat. Yeah, are you hungry? Yeah. There's a couple of restaurants over there. Yeah. I'm not really into seafood, but maybe we can... No, no, no. They, they, they have seafood and also... Okay, follow you. Oh my god, they have the fish the fish uh, Yeah, I'm definitely not into seafood. Okay, find something else? Yeah. I think all of the places, even back there, yeah. shows the fish signs. So there's a lot of fish for yeah, sale. because this area is really famous yeah. for a fishman. Yeah. If you want to have a great fish curry with a spicy taste, then you have to come to this location. So change of plans, we're not going to eat. Everything is fish this, fish that, and I'm not a big, really big fan because of fish. Because dog doesn't like fish. I love fish, <laughs> but not in India. Something about the fish in India I'm just not a big fan of. I think it's the cooking process, I don't know. Uh, but yeah. here they do nicely. Why you don't uh, no. like India? Did you see how they were cooking? No. Anyway, basically there's a lot of ruins here. There even used to be a train station, train yeah, tracks, village. Before 1964, it was a big town. Mm. And uh, even British was there. And uh, they were uh, having a big office, like a post office. And many, many important uh, government buildings and big town was the people, like uh, 1,200 people were there, here. But in, uh, at uh, one night, uh, like in December, at uh, 64 on December 22nd, I think so, on a night, it was a big cyclone formed. It's a kind of tsunami and cyclone. So it just washed away the whole city, <laughs> whole town, yes. in a single night, in a midnight. The whole That's lives, terrible. like uh, more than 1,200 people were gone, their lives were gone. That's crazy. Totally washed out. Can we go inside? Yeah. Okay, we're going Who inside. Who will ask us, man? I have no idea. The ghost man? No. Yeah, so we're in some type of building. Um, I don't know what these are. This is also some type of uh, office or post office like that, kind of. But we don't know for actually probably. I'm sure someone knows somewhere, but yeah, there's nothing, yeah, yeah. There's nothing labeled. Uh, there you can find, it's a church, mm. so we will head to that place also. What did you find? A stick? Yeah. We found a stick. There's so many shells, like the whole ground is just shells. So we just entered the church. The foundation is built out of coral. Uh, there's this, bricks and coral. This is the stone, what I said. Uh, this can float in the water, this stone. So every the foundation of the building is made out of coral and sea stones, which is really cool, I guess. But yeah, the whole thing is pretty much destroyed, you can see. So unfortunately, Roel's phone is having problems now because when he went swimming, his phone was in his pocket, which went underwater, you and now his listen, his five-year-old <laughs> Apple phone is. I don't know, something weird is happening. It's not it, It's not really turning on and it's glitching and freaking out. So he's using my phone to take photos and then I'll send the photos to him later. So many places are selling seashells. So like there's just hundreds of thousands of seashells for sale. So if you ever want to buy a seashell, come here. Hey. We have a sleeping dog. I hope it's Mr. Sheldon Bites. Mr. what? Sheldon. Sheldon? Yeah. Is that English? Yeah. Seldom or Sheldon? I don't know. Don't know. I don't know. Oh, Sometimes he knows he knows more English words than me. What the hell man? No, no. <laughs> it's it's a storybook time character. That's all. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't read, I don't read from books. my childhood. So next to the church, we found yeah. a random well and dogs trying to sleep in a little bit of shade. Someone had fit this really guy. Hot, yeah. So we thought we'd have to wait a long time for the bus, but according to him, the bus is already there. Run, run! 
My god, we gotta run. He's honking his horn. He'll stop for us, I hope. Honking the horn at me. One, two, three, jump. <laughs> hey, I can do that, man, but what about you? <laughs> With no camera. I'm part ninja. Awesome, so we just uh, arrived back in the town. The train station is nearby, and we're going to hopefully find something to eat before our train leaves in like 30 minutes, yeah? Yeah. Hopefully. Where do you want to eat? Let's find a hotel. A hotel, huh? Yeah. Do you want to go to sleep? Hotel? Sure. Basically, everywhere you go, it's labeled as hotel. A, a hotel means a restaurant. Uh, it's really weird. That one looks good, but we're going to pass that one over here, huh? Yeah. All right, let's go in here. So we stopped for a moment at a restaurant. Basically, I ordered omelet and roti because I didn't want to eat their fish and their super, super spicy stuff. But they did give me dip that I did not ask for. Good. We have to hurry. We have to finish in like five minutes because we have a train to catch. Amazing. So we <clears throat> basically, we just had omelets and bread. Uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. And uh, hey, you want to learn how to swim here? I think uh, there's a someone that's else. That's shallow. That's like a bucket. No, that's someone else is there to swim. Not me. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. The smell here is just unbelievable. Then. Anyway, so basically we're walking to the train station and we have to get on a train. But we don't have much time. It leaves in like five minutes. Five or ten minutes maybe. Yeah, maybe. I like how you say the maybe part. So yeah. We have to hurry. Yeah, right. You have arrived your destination. I don't know, what was it like for you today? Was it interesting? Was it weird? Was it yeah, fun? Yeah, I'm really happy, man. I'm just, uh, that was really wonderful. Yeah, it was a cool day. It really was. Weather was perfect. Everything was good. Everything was smooth. It did help that I was with you because I would have never been able to find the bus to take me down there from the train station. It would have been, it would have been a nightmare. It's really, really <laughs> difficult. But you knew exactly where to go, so that was... A plus. So that's it. Basically, we're on our way back to the train. So, anything you want to say? Anything you want to add before I close the video? Uh, well, uh, I'm really happy that Brock is here. Um, thank you for uh, for visiting, and please do come back again. Yeah, I'll try. Maybe, uh, let's see, huh? Yeah, I'd like to come back. Yeah. I'll actually be in the area for like another month, so I might. Okay. Okay. Oh wow! What a bunch of asses. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's it. If you're able to support the channel in any way, check the yeah. description below. Please Time do is subscribe. Yeah, oh yeah, that too. I hired him. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for watching. Remember, your time is running out. Start living. Take care. Be happy and explore happily. Yeah. Yes. Yeah.